Miami, my nigga on some crazy shit this morning, man. My nigga straight up called the phone, tell me to meet him in the hood. I said, what's happening, my nigga? Man, you got the pistol on you? I said, yeah, my wife shit. That bitch, you know, name on it, paperwork on it, you know what I'm saying? Legal bitch. Man, meet me in the hood, man, right now. I said, all right, bet. I, I whip up just now. His poor ass. This nigga here. Man, nigga trying to fight me. Nigga want to fight me this morning. Nigga trying to fight me. I say, oh, who that is? He say, blah, 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 around the corner. Man, let me see that pistol. I'm finna kill that nigga. I say, say, bro, then I just tell you that bitch in my wife's name, that bitch on paperwork, like that bitch, I can't reach that bitch to you. Man, you tripping, man, you know, no, you tripping, man. You need to go around there and fight that man anyway. That man asked to fight you. That man asked to fight your scary ass, man. You run around this bitch looking for a pistol, talking about killing something, man. See, that's the shit we need to talk about, man. All that running to some pistol, man. You should have fought that, man. I ain't following with you on no puss ass shit like that that you tell on me, my wife, and my baby. This for my nigga in the DM, man. That nigga like, hot, help me out, bro. I got an old lady. We got two cars. We doing good, Jerm. Everything great. Only one thing. I think she cheating on me. Well, I know she cheating on me. Um, what you think I should do? I don't want to leave. I got all my investments tied up in the house. You know, everything in the house. Like, I really ain't got nowhere to go. Huh? What you think I should do? I don't want to bring it up. I, I really love her so much. Man, my nigga, let me tell you like this, bro. I know it's hard, but look, check this out. See, when you were riding with her to find an apartment, to find the furniture and to find everything and y'all move together, you could do that for yourself. Start over, you know? Put that shit in your name this time because she put that shit in her name and you watched her put it in her name. So when it's time to leave the house, you got to go. She can find another nigga to keep the bills going, but you got to go. But do it all for yourself, nigga. Start over. Put that shit in your name. Major. Nigga thugging on the block this morning, you heard me and my little partners, you heard me. I ran to the store to get some sandwich bags right quick. This nigga here, this nigga old lady whoop up on the block, you heard me. All she's saying is, why you ain't say nothing before you come out? You came out early, you ain't wake the girl up and say nothing. Then you jumped in up whip and pulling up, you know what I'm saying? I ain't say nothing. This nigga done flashed out, call the girl a bitch. Man, do not call your old lady a bitch, especially in front of niggas, man. Come on, man, don't do no shit like that. You go home to her every day. This your old lady. Why you calling her a bitch? <sighs> Crazy, See, man. Never call my girl no fucking bitch or no hoe, man. That shit lasts forever, man. Them girls don't give, don't forget that shit. You can call her a bitch, man. That shit staying hard. That shit drill hard. I had to learn that, man. You can't call no girl no bitch or hoe and think everything great. Man, that girl still thinking about that shit two years later. Major. Just got off the phone with my nigga. You hear me? Hit me up. He like, shit, man, how what you doing? I'm like, shit, and this bitch going over the bills for the first, getting this shit ready. You know, it's around the corner. He like, shit, Chad. He like, you through with Christmas? I said, yeah, I got this shit out the way. He like, um, what outfit you got? What you go wear? I say, outfit for what? He like, for Christmas. I'm like, oh, for church? He like, shit, no, how can ain't going on motherfucking church on Christmas, man? For them hoes on that day, man. You know, them hoes in the club. I'm like, oh, okay, shit. Um, no, I ain't got my shit, shit. He say, um, I say, um, <clears throat> what you got to churn? Oh, shit, they go wear them shoes I got them for Thanksgiving, man. Shit, they go wipe them bitches off, man. Shit, I'm trying to have a good Christmas, man. I said, oh, okay, bet. Let me hit you back. Man, y'all niggas ain't have a good Christmas yet, man. Y'all niggas need to chill out, man. Lead Christmas to them churn, man. Come on, man. Ain't too old for that shit. Major. This for my nigga in the DM, man. Nigga say, say hi, bro. I got old lady. We got churn. Everything going good. You know, we've been together three years. Everything great, man. She got a job. She support. I support. We fine. It just, she gained a little weight and she not attractive as she was when I first met her. You know, what you think I should do? Like, should I cheat on it and just, you know, don't worry about it and just don't be cheating on her? Nah, my nigga, look, conversation around the nation, man. You got to tell her, look, this what I fell in love with. This what I need for me to stay here mentally and, you know, emotionally with you. I didn't agree to that body. That body there just came. I don't, I don't know that body. I ain't like that body. I don't, that ain't what I'm with. You know what I'm saying? But first of all, my nigga, did you gain any weight? If your body's still the same, you good. You know, got to keep them bodies in order, man. I don't think it's on fair to you. So let her know. She should try to get it back in position for you.
major. Really, my nigga, you with that bitch and my nigga, you really with the Instagram with that diss and my nigga. Really, my dog, you wasn't really my dog, just another fake nigga. I'm way more realer than y'all.